here and I got to run a red one up to the, goes from there to the starter. Uh -huh. Get the starter ready to be bolted back on. I've got this whole uh, set up here that I got uh, out of a Chevy truck. And it's got all the connectors over here. So I've got my four wires. Basically, uh, there's all my wires for my ignition. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be put through the firewall. Got this right here goes, one of them goes to the starter, power, hot. Yeah. And uh, when I hook up my uh, battery, I'll run a hot wire to this. So, or else I'll just run it. There's your one, your hot wire for your battery that comes up and goes to your harness. Yeah. And there's the one, the other one for your got all the alternator stuff on it here. Everything, everything's yeah. there, so. It's almost ready. I got been putting some gas lines on it. Yeah. Put this hose on there so I don't have to, if I go put my heater on, I can just disconnect it, put my heater on. Got uh, this bracket that my neighbor gave me, which is just about perfect. Right here, it mounts off the back of a quadrant, just the older style. Yeah. So it's got my kick down. Of course, that low tab on the kick down broke as normal plastic. I tried gluing it and it didn't last. Mm -hmm. And I got my ignition switch here. So basically, I run a hot wire back to my starter and a hot wire up to that thing, and she'll be turning over. Yeah. Got my starter on, but I got a good heavy duty ignition switch here. Yeah. Won't take you long, will it? No. Good heavy one. Yeah. Like I said to him, that's a nice one. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm ready to get this hooked up and the battery thing back there and then we'll see if it cranks over. Well, there you go. I just don't want to start it with no headers. Yeah. Or anything on there. I don't want to start it right off the... I don't want to start it off of that. I can start it without a... Uh, I, I got to get my plug wires and some plugs, but... I can start it without no antifreeze in it, but you can only run it for a few minutes, you know? Yeah. Plus, another thing, too, is I got to get a tranny cooler because... You said you might have one over there, but... Oh, I got one. I can't. Like start it up, it will pump the fluid right out of the transmission. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a nice, a nice one, nice aftermarket one. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it for years. My dad had it for years before he died, and we'd never use it. Yeah. So that'd be perfect. Yeah, because I got to hook up that, so if I, it, so at least it will go back to the transmission. Yeah. Or she'll be pumping the fluid right out of her. Yeah. Bye, it's gaining.